Hello and welcome back to You Don't Know Jack. My name is WW Dadman, but you already know that. Binge Pipe is almost free of the curse by presenting You Don't Know Jack. What curse? Binge Pipe. Fresh content served erratically. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson. I got you manjied into this video game decades ago, and I miss my family. So you're playing with yourself? Hmm. Well, I've heard that intro that. before. Okay then, why wait any longer? Time for question one. To begin with, I scream, you scream, we all scream because existence is pain. <laughs> <sighs> What would be the best evidence that I fell into a shame spiral last night and ate half a gallon of Ben and Jerry's ice cream in the dark in my underwear? Hypothetically, two empty pints of pistachio pistachio, four empty pints of urban bourbon, eight empty pints of spectacular I don't know what half a core, gallon is. Or 16 empty pints of keep caramel and cookie on. And how'd we do? This answer is so wrong, it reminds me of my life choices. Oh, Gretchen. Here's the answer that got away. There are eight pints in a gallon, which means four pints in half a gallon. So that's what's currently streaming. Use normal people measurements, you fucking. Up, hypothetically. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There is no hiding from family game fight. If Romeo and Juliet competed on the set of Family Feud, what team would Romeo be playing on? The York family, the Montague family, the Capulet family, or the Lancaster family? I haven't got the slightest. Okay, what'd you pick? Survey says, yes, Romeo was a Montague. A name, what's in a name? A rose by any other name would still get roasted by Steve Harvey. Why don't we do it with Cree? Up next, but she still gets carded. And thank you for being a contestant on this dis or dat. I'm gonna list off seven things, and for each one, you tell me if it's something that's older than actress Betty White, or something that's younger than actress Betty White. Don't think too hard, I'm only giving you a few seconds to decide between older or younger. Ready? Good. I have no idea. Airplanes. Really? Penicillin. The zipper. Canned beer. Sliced bread. Really? The light bulb. Israel. I've seen worse. Let's get on with it, shall we? Coming up next, W-W-E-I-E-I-O. Kids love professional wrestling about as much as professional wrestlers love doing things other than professional wrestling. Based on his well-known catchphrase taunt, what would most likely be John Cena's favorite childhood game? Duck Duck Goose, Peekaboo, London Bridge is Falling Down, or Patty Cake? So what'd you pick? John Cena is well known for saying, you can't see me, which yeah. is also the name of his first studio album. I know that because I bought a Cena album thinking it was a Sia album, and I gotta say, I have zero regrets. This one's called Semi Nudes. Which work of art is most in need of a shirt from Fruit of the Louvre? Venus de Milo, Mona Lisa, Girl with a Pearl Earring, or the Nefertiti Bust? I love this part. The ancient Greek Venus de Milo sculpture was created topless. Yep. And if they don't have her size at Fruit of the Louvre, you can always run down to Vatican's secret. 
Dude. Stop it. Round one is over. Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. Okay, buckle in. Six trombones is not a parade. Here's one I like to call only the freshest references. Which of these 80s catchphrases best describes the story of Icarus? Wax on, wax off, where's the beef, I'll be back, or gag me with a spoon? Hope you like what you picked. Icarus flew on wings made of wax and feathers until the sun melted his wings, causing him to fall to his death. Which is like, grody to the max. J'ai mangé tous les oeufs. Sept. Behold, that pig's a jerk. And hey, stress cut with mime sore. It's time for a Remember to type quick. That cash will be counting down until you lock in an answer. Okay, get ready. Check out this gibberish phrase and tell me what popular song title it rhymes with. Okay. Cruel bore, huh? Bummer. And don't get hung up on that punctuation. Um... It's a warm season. Yeah, summer, I get that, but... But I'm still chilly. Huh? I don't get it. I'm frosty in July. I don't know the song, I think. I can't stand the suspense. What is it? Yeah, I don't know the song. Okay, let's move along. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. This one's known as Save a horse, ride a census taker. Let's say Keith Urban moved to an area with a population of 3,000. If he wanted his last name to reflect his new home, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, what might he call himself? Keith Suburban, Keith Urban Cluster, Keith Country, or Keith Rural? Uh... Rural? Let's see how that shook out. Here it is, the wrongest answer. <coughs> the preferred answer is... An urban cluster is a geographical area with a population of less than 50,000 and more than 2,500. Also a great name if you ever made a cereal. Na, 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 na. Yeah, whatever. Here we have... Type equals squiggly bracket history comma female squiggly bracket. Except all cookies don't clear your cash. It's time for data mining. Hey, so uh, Binge Pipe has some user data. They they say they acquired legally. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Can you help us figure out the identity of the user based on the song playlist they were creating? Say la vie, faith, girl on the fire. Whose playlist have we acquired? Marie Curie, Jeanne d'Arc, Edith Piaf, or Simone de Beauvoir? Jeanne d'Arc? So what'd you pick? Jeanne d'Arc, or Joan of Arc, was French, tried for her faith, and burned at the stake. Man, that's some really old data. We prefer to call it retro. And now, having relations with nouns. If you hate preppy men, you'll love the only guy on this list who does not have a preposition in his title. The man in the high castle, the last man on earth, the man who invented Christmas, or the man from uncle. A preposition. How do we do? 
What? Isn't it obvious? Who is not a preposition? The fact that it's capitalized should have tipped you off. Prepositions tell you the location of the subject, like I am the man between two ungrateful cats. <laughs> Yeah, theoretical well, grammar isn't the my kind of thing. Well, don't mind me then. Here's your clue. That's jargon to my ears. I hope you all know what I'm talking about. Good luck. I have no idea. Oh yeah, that is. Uh, aft, a ship lingo. Uh, no idea about those. Mass, definitely. What's the last one? Either way. Um That's it. That was pretty easy. What? It's nice when I don't have to check. What the, the fuck kind going. of uh, objection is, is of asked and answered? Tell them this part. You don't know Jack. Anybody who has any kind of idea about American fucking legal system, please comment below, because I don't. Like, what kind of objection is that? The walls! They're bleeding! <laughs> oh my god! Either way. The microwave screen just told me the time and date of my death! You know, Coop, um, I thought my wall thing was pretty scary. You didn't have to one-up me. Now streaming, an original horror film about a couple who moves into a haunted house way too early in their relationship. We should leave. Unless you don't want to. No, um, we'll, we'll do whatever you want to do. Well, I, I want you to make a decision. No. Hold on, I picked dinner last night. Their lack of communication is downright scary. I need to get out of here. I'm going to my book club. I'll go with you. Leave. <gasps> Leave room for your own interests. But Alice's friends love me. Me? We should hear the ghost out. He's always on your side. There's no sides here. Available on Valentine's Day. Hey kids, do you like sharing? Yeah! I'll see you in the next one. So then leave a like, like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. Until next time, I'm not going to be dead. Bye.